Welcome back to Frontier Fields North. This is Chris Denise from Tupperville, Ontario, here at Burkhab Farms. Last time we did our root dig, we seen a difference between the biopath and the treated and non-treated area. Since then, there's been no more activity in the area besides adding micronutrients to the crop as needed based on the weekly tissue test results. Today, we're gonna to go back out to the biopath field and check on the progress of the treated and untreated area. Welcome back to Frontier Fields North. Keith Tebow, we're in Fort Fairfield, Maine, on my farm, Tebow Farms. We've been watching the watching the potatoes grow. Been a been a good growing season so far. We're uh, we're just we've been lacking rain here the past week, ten days. Now we're getting ready to spin some irrigation pivots, feed the crop here. No, we're probably a week two weeks out from maturity before we start laying them down and get them ready for harvest. So you can see my harvester here in the background. We're getting getting that ready at the moment for start harvest. Here at Burkhead, we're members of the Total Acre Group and being a member of the Total Acre Group, that gave us more exposure to biologicals and that's where we were introduced to Mosaic and Biopath. On our operation, we find it important to trial different products and understand what's the impact to your overall operation, whether it be an improvement to soil health or ROI. If you keep doing the same thing year after year, you're never gonna improve made our way out into the biopath trial field. Currently we're standing in the treated area with the biopath. We're looking here to take up maybe three plants of the biopath treated area and then three plants from the untreated area. As we walked out in the field, I didn't see any visual problems with the corn. Everything looks healthy, green, growing well. So yeah, looks good. We're gonna go uh, meet Amanda from Mosaic and we're gonna show everybody what the the difference between uh, treated and non-treated looks like. So we're in the biopath treated variety of one dust here. Visually above ground, I can't say that there's a difference between the control and treated, but definitely we're gonna see it hopefully underneath once we dig up these tubers. Okay, we're back from the field digging up the plants. We come back to the shop here, we have them washed off. On the left here, we have the untreated plants and on the right, we have the treated plants. We did confirm that it's all the same variety in the field, planted on the same day. So it should be a fairly equal comparison between the two. Yeah, and it looks like there's more root hair here. There's some more um, off these brace roots on the top parts of the, the biopath treated versus the untreated for sure. Showing that there's definitely um, more nutrients available. Yeah, and as you explained that the biopath actually grows with the root system, you could kind of see that those hair roots are starting close to the stalk and they're also coming out the root path. Where on the other one, it's just kind of, I don't know, you have roots everywhere, but not all the same hair root level that we see on the biopath. The finer root hairs is what's sucking up the nutrients out of the soil. So where we see these fine root hairs, we know that we have good fertility there. The biopath has more roots to support grain fill, but uh, the yield monitor, or the end of the, the end yield is going to be the telling tale. So we've got the biopath treated here um, on these Juanitas and the untreated here. The one thing Keith and I noticed while we were digging up these these potatoes was that roots seemed uh, to be deeper in the biopath. This is the the treated biopath. There's a lot more root hairs there than here in the the untreated. The, uh, the those fine root hairs that uh, makes all the nutrients more accessible to the plant, so that you can tell they're really mining. Well, this one stem plant over here in the biopath treated produced seven tubers. We've got uh, this two stem here, which produced eleven tubers in total, which are pretty uniform in size. Here in uh, the untreated, we still have some smaller tubers coming along here as well um, and definitely not as many in those two stem versus the two stem and the treated so there was only um, eight tubers here versus 11. After the review today we've seen some interesting things with the roots it's always interesting to go out to the field see what the crop see how it's maturing see if there's any disease pressure or any visual signs of stress in the crop I didn't see any today so I'm pretty happy with what everything looks like out there today. Yeah, looking forward to seeing the yield monitor when you're harvesting. We should have rainbows of green and yellow. What we concluded here today is the, the plants are doing what they need to do. 
We're seeing the extra tuber counts under the biopath, which will make a larger yield. We mentioned earlier that we're seeing the roots go deeper in the biopath. Not only is beneficial to crop itself for yield, but it's also beneficial for the quality. The proof's in the pudding here today when you line up this to this. Potatoes are set right here on top, you know. This, this plant went all the way down and then, then started dropping the tubers off. Thanks for joining me today, guys. It was a, it was a great time, and thanks to uh, Amanda for coming by to examine what we've seen here today. Next time you guys stop by here, we'll be, uh, we'll be harvesting. Come for a ride along in the tractor. Thanks for joining us today on Frontier Fields North. Hope to see you back here at harvest.